Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. To create an Other Current Assets account in the Maintain Chart of Accounts window, select Maintain Chart of Accounts from the menu bar. In this window, assign the account an account ID, a description, and select the Other Current Assets account type. Then save the account. Let's take a prepaid rent Other Current Asset account as an example. Assume you signed a new office space lease for $1,000 per month. Also assume you must prepay six months worth of rent before moving into the space. If using the accrual accounting method, you must attribute expense to the period it is incurred, not when you actually pay it. So you would not want to write a check for the next six months worth of rent and attribute the entire amount to the rent expense account for the month in which you wrote the check, as that does not accurately reflect when the rent expense is incurred. Instead, you use the other current asset account of prepaid rent to show the rent expense as it is actually incurred. To account for this, you must create another current assets account named something like prepaid rent in the Maintain Chart of Accounts window. To then write the check to the landlord for the $6,000 rent prepayment in the Write Checks window, select the landlord's name from the Vendor ID dropdown. Then click the Split button at the bottom of the check to open the Split Transaction window. Select the Prepaid Rent Account from the first row's account number dropdown. In the Amount column, enter 5000 For the next row, select the Rent or Lease Expense Account and then enter 1000 as the amount. This shows the first monthly payment to your Rent or Lease Expense Account and shows the amount prepaid for the next five months' rent. Then click the OK button to return to the Write Checks window to finish and save or print the check as normal. The next month, you can create a journal entry or memorized transaction journal entry crediting $1,000 from the prepaid rent account and debiting the rent or lease expense account in the period it is actually incurred. This decreases the prepaid rent account each month until the prepayment is used up. The rent or lease expense account then properly shows when the rent expense is incurred. The journal entry is used to record the rent expense for the next five months instead of writing a check each month. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.